So I got this side 100% dead on right. So if you want to do the other side. Oh, that, that way if we that, get it wrong, it's my fault? That way if it doesn't fit, <laughs> it'll be, it'll definitely be your fault. Oh, thanks. Okay. <sighs> Okay, so if you watched our previous video, you'll realize that we haven't left the best top garage. And that's because today is all about getting fully prepared, not just for EJS or Jeep Beach, but literally everything that we have coming up event-wise. The truck top was preparation number one. Preparation number two, if you guys watched our videos, a lot of you might have noticed that we have cloth seats, which preferably for us is kind of important because in Colorado it gets really cold, but we've noticed that those seats are getting dirty and filthy very, very quickly, especially now that we have a dog. Jelly Belly is kind of an issue <laughs> as far as keeping everything clean. So we've decided to do something super duper special for the step child, and I present Ta-da! Our brand new PRP seat covers, which are extremely freaking awesome. And I'm gonna show you exactly why, because they have designed these not only to fit perfectly over our OEM seat covers, but also so that we can maintain the molly webbing behind the driver and the passenger seat, which is amazing. And why don't we have just all leather? Because that would have been easier cleaning. Because I'm very sensitive to cold and hot weather and I don't like having a cold butt when I wake up early in the morning. So we have mostly easy to clean, but comfort right here in this beautiful nice, suede, suede interior. Alcantara, whatever you want to call it. These do, these do look pretty dope with all the red stitching. And these PRP seats are fully 100% customizable as far as fabric, color. Obviously we got red stitching. We wanted to maintain kind of that OEM look as far as the colors went, but you can get these in almost any color, any fabric any design. You can also get, from what I understand, custom designs up here. We like PRP though, so we're gonna rock their logo. Yeah, we could've got our logo, huh? Yeah, we could've yeah, got the logo. We're gonna do some swap out later. So excited. And there's some extra padding in there too. No, oh, you can't see it. <laughs> <laughs> now the installation for these is actually pretty simple and straightforward. The only thing is, is it is gonna take a lot of finagling to get the fitment pulling on there. And tugging and it's a lot of pulling and tugging, but as far as how they go on, there's only one way to go on and it's really easy to figure out. So we need to remove this panel because this is gonna snap onto the back of the uh, PRP seat cover. So what you have is you have two Phillips screws at the very bottom. So you're just gonna take those screws out. You have these little elastic hooks. You just kind of unhook them, peel it back and get to those two screws. And if you look, you have these push clips that you're just gonna pull out. The top, however. And then the top, you wanna make sure you don't break these guys because there's four of them, but you're gonna pull down. So you're gonna pop these guys out and then you're gonna pull it down and out. So what you're gonna do is you're basically just gonna pull off the molly webbing backing. You're gonna put your seat cover on and then that will actually snap into place behind or over the PRP seat cover. Because as you can see on the back side of these front seat covers, they've got a place for all of those tabs and the hooks. It. Ta da! Instead of pulling, it falls down. Yeah. There it is. There you go. Ooh, there it is. So, for anyone who is worried about whether or not you'd be able to retain that molly webbing, there's your answer. Okay, now as far as orientation goes for the lower half of these seat covers, you're gonna have two different designs on the right side and left side. You got a big open space on the left side and a tiny one on the right side. That big open space is going to be for your pull tab for your seat lean back. The tiny open space is for your seatbelt buckle. So keep that in mind. This one, for your record, is gonna be your driver's seat. Pull tab on this side, seat buckle on this side. Driver's side. Hold on, don't move. Now, for the upper portion of the front seats, we have side airbags. So just use that to orient your front. Obviously, it's on the outer side. So this right here is gonna go on our driver's side. So these are street legal. Like so, yeah, these are fully 100% street legal seat covers. They fit. Seamlessly, well not seamlessly, well, but perfectly. The biggest thing is that your, if your airbag deploys, it has, that's, that's what it's there for. It's designed so. for that. So these are, yeah, 100% street legal, they're safe, and they fit amazingly. I don't think people think about that when they buy seat covers from like AutoZone. Oh yeah. You know that. Guys, you sells. buy, yeah, you go to Walmart or AutoZone, you buy seat covers. They don't. Where's your airbag gonna go when it explodes? Think about that. All right. Okay. All right, so first things first, we're gonna get all this stuff on here, but we're gonna pull the headrest off. To get the headrest off, you just lift up 
but now you have to push this tab and there's a little tab over on the other side you kind of just lift up a little bit and bam there you go both tabs <laughs> ew look how dirty that headrest it's so is so dirty we can maybe spray it off or clean it ew that's all that's your side man i know that's my, my gel that in dirty. my hair ew gross huh. from there we're just going to lay the seat covers over and as you can see we're already like yeah. halfway installed on this baby so first thing also that you want to do is you want to clean out everything from under your driver's seat <laughs> hold on i think what <laughs> can you guys tell that we live out of our jeep <laughs> kevin how many koozies do you have oh the center console's full of them this is also how you know that this is kevin's side of the jeep hey yeah it is okay so you want to get all that stuff probably out. I'm digging the machete. You like the machete? <laughs> yeah. I didn't do this on the driver's side because I didn't see it until after I already installed it, but there's a cool zipper right here <laughs> that opens it up to allow you to install it a lot it easier. So it makes that way easier than the way I was doing it. <laughs> Did you find a stick, Jelly? <laughs> In the best top garage? Did you find a stick? Say yes, this is my stick. Good lord. Look at this. This is my stick. So these look really good. They fit skin tight. You would think that they're actually the OEM seats. You have no idea that they're seat covers. They do take a lot of finger strength and some, some forearm strength. Like those things are all like <laughs> bulging yeah. out right now. I would definitely not be able to do this yeah, on my own. That's what I was saying. I don't, I don't think I just Brittany don't have the or, upper body strength for it. Yeah, you definitely need you need either a, a friend or <laughs> you have to be pretty strong. Like yeah. don't skip arm day. It's not that difficult, but yes, it takes some finagling and and knowing little tricks like this back here, you have to get before you put the front of this on. You actually want to get it back here around the corner because this is easier to compress this seat and get it around. So you wanna actually get this corner first. And once you get it all kind of on, you may be a little frustrated, a little peeved, but just leave it and come back to it later once your forearms quit yelling at you. <laughs> but once you get it pretty close, then you know, you can come back in a, in a couple hours and, and finish it up and it'll be pretty easy. We just got this part right here. Yep. And a couple of Velcro straps underneath. Yep. The rear seat and I think we should be good. Yeah, I think so. That's looking really good. All right, so now that we've got the seat covers in, some of you might have noticed these guys sitting in the background. And funny story, <laughs> a severely concerned subscriber sent this to us in the mail. So this is a rock hard four x four sport cage. Yeah, so that's the windshield bar. And then the one that's on the ground right there is the uh, overhead, overhead bar. So yeah, thanks concerned subscriber. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, so although this isn't quite as strong as obviously a full cage will be, what this will do is this is going to help to reinforce the factory cage in the event of a rollover, which will never happen with us, ever. I, <laughs> I just thought it was really funny that uh, a subscriber was the one to send it to us. Yeah, because they saw the stuff we were getting into and they saw the stepchild over there getting bigger and bigger and meaner and meaner. Our subscribers care a lot more about our safety than we do, which is... I mean, it's a good thing and it's a bad thing because we should probably care more about our safety than we do. But we're now at one of our best friend Ty's places. This is his super ratty Toyota truck. And it's probably the coolest lawn ornament I've ever seen yeah. in anyone's oh, front he, yard. He, he also has a rock garden. <laughs> he literally had these rocks like brought here to like crawl over. Anyway, yeah, so. <laughs> so he's been kind enough to let us use his driveway and of course use his tools since Kevin and I have limited tools since we travel so much and basically live out of the Jeep. So we're here 
to use his tools basically we're just we're using them yeah. is what we're doing and here's the stepchild <laughs> already uh prepped ready to start drilling and, and marketing going how certain are you that you uh you marked that hole correctly kevin uh 85 85 percent 85 certain uh you know lifting a jeep or lifting anything and then trying to work on it makes things way more difficult because what you can't see is i'm standing on a ladder <laughs> leaning sideways trying to drill <laughs> I guess I could stand on the seat and drill the other way, but um, you got a little lube. <laughs> what are you laughing at? <laughs> So I got this side 100% dead on right. So if you want to do the other side, Oh, that, that way if we get that, it wrong it's my fault that way if it doesn't fit <laughs> it'll be it'll definitely be your fault oh thanks okay <sighs> oh, this is partly why i haven't done a cage drilling into the body is a little nerve wracking yeah. i'd almost rather weld it i'd almost rather grind this down exactly. and weld it in which i guess if you don't drill these right that's the next option it's just because and it's welded in it's them. it's in you know yeah. He's like, I've got a welder right there. <laughs> so you know things are getting super serial when Kevin takes his shirt off. Yeah. He goes, Brittany, you take your shirt off. We can both get tans. Hey, look, I've been working out though. So I'm, I'm feeling comfortable. I'm, I'm trying to get into my Jeep beach. Jeep beach body? Bod. Yeah. He's working on the Jeep bod. Yeah, look, Jeep bod. In the, <sighs> in the beach tan. Yeah, that's mostly what I'm working on is the beach tan. I don't want the cops called on us though, so I'm going to keep my shirt on. Look. Even Jelly's trying to get her beach tan on. <laughs> Jelly! What are you doing? She's like, uh, she's like, dang it, I was napping. And totally woke me up. Hi, baby girl. So after you get done strategically drilling <laughs> and hoping and checking and double checking, <laughs> we then get to see if we're going to match up here. AK, you get to see how badly you messed up. I'm pretty close. I mean, all four of them are in. This one's not, but it's close. It'll go. A little finagling, it's gonna do it. There it goes. There it goes. So we're off just the tiniest of tiny. Not really, because all four bolts went in. No, no, yeah, they're, they're all yeah. going in. Oh wait, do we want to try to put the mount back on or are we gonna just... Oh my... I don't think that's a thing. My gauges won't go there either. I bought a pod to go right here to hold our new gauges. Well, why'd you do that? Because we needed AFR and boost. But I guess I'm just gonna have to do some just kind of roll cage, just roll cage mounts. And then I won't be able to see out of the <laughs> windshield <laughs> anymore. <laughs> We're safe now, but are We're we? We're safe, but I can't see but, anymore. Yeah, but are we really? <laughs> <laughs> got the rear one we think done Kevin's gonna see or did everything fit it looks like everything fit perfect look at that <laughs> no it did everything we didn't have to wallow out any holes Brittany made me take my time and do it <laughs> right and I think every time Kevin was about to be like just kind of like no that's fine we don't got to mock it up again or we don't got to blah 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 like, and no. i'm pretty sure at least two or three times the holes had like shifted just a little bit so take your time when you're drilling holes that you can't undrill well if you look they are flush mounted chamfered is that the word chamfered i anyway so you have to be right on if you're not you're, you're gonna, gonna have, have bad, bad time, time. <laughs> So we checked and double checked and kept mocking up and making sure our circles and holes were good. And it voila, look, it fits. We, we have a full... For everybody that's worried about it, let's have cage. a cage. There you go. We have a cage. And last but not least for this video, the final touch, the thing that Kevin absolutely cannot live without, his 67 Designs phone mount. So with installing the sport cage, roll cage, obviously 
this guy no longer fit on the dash. I can, uh, yeah, it, see, no longer fit. Brittany's like, well, hey, I think 67 Designs actually has something for you. A roll cage mount. They have a roll cage mount that adapts to all of their other phone holders. And I know I've had a crap ton of people ask me what type of phone holder we use. It is 67 Designs and we freaking love it. And we didn't want to get rid of it because we still need someone to put our phone because we travel so much and we need GPS because we're going places. For instance, Moab for Easter Jeep Safari. You'll have to excuse all of the bugs on our windshield. It has been a long, long drive and it's warming up, so they're everywhere, but guys, we're here at EJS and we are super pumped. The last two weeks have been a lot of work, uh, a lot less rest than we were expecting we'd be I getting. I trying to get some time off, but that didn't work. That didn't work out. So we got, we got the turbo installed, got it tuned, got the cage put in, got the PRP seat covers. Got our new Trek top put in. Got our new in. Trek top. So all this was in preparation, short crunch time to get... Everything the, ready yeah. for the next couple months. Because again, this is officially the start. Easter Jeep Safari is the start of our next big trip from EJS. We're going all the way to Daytona Beach, Florida for Jeep Beach. Jeep and Beach. then from there, I think we're going up to see you guys up in Pennsylvania. Yeah, we'll be up in the P PA area, all around the states that touch around there. We'll, we'll go we'll, to Uari and all those kind of things. So yeah. we'll post that up. Yeah, we'll let you know exactly where we're gonna go uh, as it gets closer, because right now that's all sort of a tentative schedule, so to speak. But yeah, we've got a ton of traveling coming up. And something that's new that you might've noticed in the last couple videos, but you guys can help now. Yeah, so we have a Patreon now, and we would put that off for a while, but people kept asking where can they help donate for money for food, for gas, to get us across the country to come out and wheel with you guys so you guys can show us URI and- Your uh, favorite locations all, all favorite in your locations. hometown. And the only way we could we figured we could do that is if we could have people help us get out to these states and <laughs> cities and spend time. Despite um, what some people think, uh, for those who haven't seen some previous videos, Kevin and I are not rich. No, and we barely we, get by. <laughs> we do barely get by sometimes, but we will, we may post a video in the very near future kind of going over exactly how we do what we do because yeah, we'll I know a lot our, of people are curious how, how we afford to, to yeah. live the lifestyle we live. Yeah, we show you our finances. Yeah, we'll our show you everything. No. We, have, we have no problem showing you guys all of those you things. You don't want to see our bank accounts. <laughs> you, would, you would say what the F if you saw it, but we're headed your way. Like if you're on the south, east coast, dirty south, whatever you guys want to call it, we're headed your way. So keep an eye out on the website and on Facebook. For updates, but for now, it's Easter Jeep Safari time. We love you guys. Please don't forget you can find all of your Light Bright Nation merch at lightbrightstudios.com and of course all of your decals at pixeldecals.com. Thank you for watching and we will see you next time. Bye. Later guys. Mwah. Mwah. So I found out that Jelly is somewhat afraid of balloons. Jelly. Come here, come here. Come here. Oh, she's like eyeballing him. Get it, get it, Jelly. Get it. Get it. Get the balloon. Get it, get the balloon. Get the balloon. Get the balloon. Get it. Oh my goodness. What is that? We have seat bag, uh, seat airbag, seat bag, airbags for the seats. Yes. Wow. <laughs> okay. Uh, we have side airbags. <laughs> Take two. Okay, hold on. Side airbags. Side airbags. Thank you. Okay. <laughs>